Hey man, what's good? It's your boy Cartier B and today I'm about to be putting you boys on in-depth review of these shoes right here, the Mason Miharas. We will not be discussing the box. <laughs> today we will be discussing these shoes right here. So if you guys are interested in my review after having these for one year, this is a perfect video for you. Let's roll the intro and let's get it, man. Let's go. So it is 2023. I almost guarantee that you guys have seen some form of shoe like this on the internet. I did get these in 2022, a year ago, and I absolutely love them. Now today we will be discussing how they've worn for over the years, an in-depth review on them. I did actually post video on these same exact Mason Miharas about eight months ago. So you guys could go check out that video if you guys want to see the unboxing of it. But now it's more like, you know what I'm saying, I'm a vet. First up is the sizing because everybody always asks about the sizing, man. Now the sizing, believe it or not, I went true to size. Right here are 42, which I believe are a size nine or 10. Easily look up a size chart for these and it will put you on what size. Just look up US sizing to European sizing. Now I would recommend you not to go a size up because these shoes are already pretty big. If you did go a size up, they might look a little bit like clown shoes. I'm not gonna lie to you. Or you could go down a size or down a half a size. Where I caught these is off of Farfetch, I believe. I believe I caught them off of Farfetch, but you guys could go on Grailed, Farfetch, Depop, whatever. Just look up Mason Miharis, you know what I'm saying? And they'll pop up. I did actually pay full price for these, but you guys can cop them used. Now, I wouldn't recommend copying an all white pair used. They'll look more used than if you bought a used pair of black ones, if that makes sense to you guys. Now, right now, I'm just rambling on. I know you guys want to know how these have held up for a year now honestly overall comfortability isn't great like they're not the most comfortable shoe which might not be what you guys wanted to hear but they're not uncomfortable either you know what i'm saying just make sure you guys get the right size not that uncomfortable now they are actually pretty decently big in person personally i feel like if you do want to wear them with shorts i would definitely go with the low top version of these but the high top looks very nice with pants laces are super chunky as you guys can see which is just beautiful in my opinion. I love my chunky shoes. If you guys are sub to this channel, you guys know what I think about chunky shoes. I love them, bro. The Yeezy Desert Boots, the freaking bro. I'm not gonna say this all over again, but I love me some chunky shoes, you know what I'm saying? If you guys are looking for this as an everyday shoe, I don't know if that would, that would honestly, it would be a cool little option. They don't get that dirty. As you guys can see, they're a little bit dirty, but you could always wash them off because this sole layer right here is actually a foam material and the one that you're walking on is actually this extra sole layer that's beneath the facade so that it looks like you're walking on actually walking on this which is a normal hard sole like you're not walking on this foam if you guys were wondering that now overall i have definitely gotten a lot of compliments on these you're gonna stand out when you rock these you know what i'm saying they're not just like a normal pair of vans they're big they're chunky they're emphasized you're gonna be highlighted when you walk in the room. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense to you guys. Now, right here, it does actually distress up here at the top over time, um, which I personally like. Now, I'm pretty sure there is a couple different versions that don't do this, but I bought this pair in specific because I love how over time this gets distressed, kind of like some ripped jeans or something. And it just looks super cool up here because they do actually have a denim material right here. Now, obviously these come in a bunch of different colorways, but the white one has held up. I'm surprised because it is all white. You know what I mean? It is all white, but still it's definitely kept its, its white whiteness i guess but one thing i have noticed is that right here on this canvas slash like denim material it has actually um yellowed over time like you guys can't see it through here i don't believe because it's not that much of an exaggerated look but it has yellowed a little bit which i've noticed because i've had them since they were brand brand new so i've noticed that they have gone a little bit more off-white and creamish right here on the foam it still has held up now i wouldn't i would definitely recommend not to like go run on the track with these like these is also some decently heavy shoes like let's say you wanted to go on a hike definitely don't rock these which if you were gonna wear some mihars on a hike 
overall that's just not a good idea like that is absurd but i've never heard of that so hopefully y'all are not doing that but i mean shoot y'all do you you know what i'm saying um but yeah these is cool these are calm these is collected you know what i'm saying and i'm very sure with them now they do feature a bunch of different tags right here it says mmy with this little inspirational quote right here um which y'all can check out my unboxing if you guys do want to know what that quote is but they do have a bunch of little taggings black lining all that's in my unboxing video this is just pretty much to show y'all how it's held up and i feel like it has held up pretty decently like i was saying don't go running on a track like also these are decently heavy but if you do compare them to other big shoes like if you compare them to alexander mcqueen's for example they're normally very heavy big um these are lighter because they are made of foam so for a big chunky shoe these are very light if that makes sense now obviously they're not known for comfort like it's a japanese designer brand it's not the most comfortable is but at the same time it's not super uncomfortable for a designer shoe because bro pretty much any designer shoe i've worn has never been comfortable besides for the mason margellas those are somehow comfortable even without the cushion but yeah these don't have a lot of cushion a lot of comfortability but it just rocks as like a normal shoe like i wouldn't let the uncomfortability deter me from getting it just because it's really not that big of a deal like you're not gonna be complaining about how they fit if that makes sense so yeah hopefully i did put you boys on in this video um and yeah man it's cartier b if i did leave anything out that you guys would like to know just let me know down in the comment sections below and if you guys did make it to this part make sure you guys comment a green heart emoji down in the comment sections below just so i know that you guys made it to this end portion and i love y'all boys and also bro if you guys want to be in my next like q a or rating subscribers fits and all of that make sure you guys check out my instagram you know what i'm saying um we take cool flicks and stuff like that if you guys are into fashion and this is a perfect place for you um join the game anyways though it's cartier b signing out yeah this outro is getting way too repetitive like i'm gonna catch y'all boys have a productive day if you're bored watch some more cartier i guess that's all i gotta say Ain't that right, bro? I, I'ma make a song right now. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. 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 Every day I wake up, ayy, in a different mood. Hold on, let me put on my jewels. Let me fresh in up real quick. Yeah, I'm about to turn my swag on beat. Just broke ass, how can't break on shit? I'm breaking on my neck, can't